it's almost 11 a.m. on October 31st, Halloween, and we are gonna have a one-day costume build. Um, I got my battery charging right there for my land speeder. So that's the whole reason I'm doing Ray is because I have a land speeder and I want to drive around. Going around the neighborhood trick or treating. That's so cool. In my land speeder. <laughs> All right. Angel. Angel. Shush. No. All right. So I got a pretty good thrift store haul. I got this pair of pants. They're kind of capri pants. $6.99. I need to make them a little darker, but they're a good um, shape. They're pretty baggy. I need to cut them off. Um, the waist is about an inch too big. I need to take it in. But for only $6.99, it was a pretty good deal. From the same store, I got this top, which I thought could be usable for her top. But at uh, the other store, I found a better one. Much thicker material, right shape. Um, I just need to cut a slit in it and take it in on the sides because it's an XXL, but that's pretty much perfect. Lastly, I picked up a twin bed sheet for $3.99. It's pretty big and it's gonna work perfectly for her crisscrossy drapey things. Um, it's a great color as well, don't need to do much to it, but cut it up. I picked up this bag at the thrift store for $3.99. It's going to make a really good um, side pouch for her. It's kind of the same size and shape. I just need to make a cut in it to be able to put it on a belt, but I like it. It's going to be a really nice functional bag as well. And then from home, I have some muslin, which I'm going to use to make the arm wraps. Uh, muslin is very thin, but it frays really nicely, and I think that's going to look good on the arms. Something stretchy would be better, but I have this, and it'll look good for one night, so I'm going to use it. Then to kind of age these and make them look better, I have some dye and some shoe polish. I'm also going to use some tea and coffee to kind of age these as well. I already have a pair of brown boots, so I'm gonna use those for the costume. And I do have some dark brown leather that I'm gonna use to make her belt and her little wrist cuff, which I had from Hawk Girl, so it's the perfect color. I'm just gonna cut this up. And all of this will become Ray in about four hours. We got this, let's do it. All right, first things first, in order to get these to be looking right, I'm gonna put these in a tea bath. So because I have to dye them and then dry them, I'm going to get that done first before I alter anything because that's going to take the most time out of the day. And I definitely want them to be dry <laughs> before I wear them. So I'm going to take these downstairs and make a tea bath. Let's do it. So welcome to the kitchen. This is my tea. It's just a full leaf black tea. Any kind of black tea will work as long as it's dark. I just happen to have a lot of this and it's cheap at like English breakfast. I don't even know what this is. It's super cheap tea that I can use a lot of to get a dark color. You can use tea bags. That's perfectly fine. Just some sort of black cheap tea because you're going to be using a lot of it. Unfortunately, I don't have a bigger pot than this. So I might have to dye the items one at a time because they're not going to fit all fit in this one pot. So what's the equivalent of that in tea bags? Mainly like 10 or 15 tea bags is what we're going to aim for. I've never dyed synthetic polyester with tea. I usually only do a natural fiber, which will take it a lot better. So I don't know how these synthetics are gonna go. I'm gonna do a few pots. That will be smarter than doing only one pot. We're gonna do a few. So it's already a pretty dark amber color. my cotton shirt first so I know it's gonna take the best you know what I'm gonna put all of them in I'm gonna put all of them in pants other shirt let's see what this does but I definitely think the natural fiber one is done it's only been about like two minutes it's been sitting in here
I put it on a quick dry, less than half an hour on very high heat. Hopefully a lot of that color stays, but gets a little lighter. Maybe it kind of gets a tie-dye kind of thing where some are lighter, some is darker. Just gives it a good overall aged effect. It's honestly a little too dark. It took the tea too well. Um, so I might actually throw it in a bleach bath just to lighten it up a little bit. It's quite big. So I'm gonna go ahead and take in the sides just where I marked it and cut this slit. And the pants fit me pretty well actually. I need to take them in about a half inch in the back. I'm just gonna make a little dart. Here's the fabric for the crissy crossy things. Honestly, all of me is looking about the same color. Uh-huh. This is actually the right color for the crissy crossy things. Pants need to be darker, shirt need to be lighter. We're gonna give it a go. This was the other shirt, the polyester shirt, that wasn't as close to the right look. It actually ended up being pretty much the same color as this. All of the clothing took the tea bath really well. I might use this for the arm wraps. It's kind of the right color and it's stretchy, so it'll be more comfortable on my arms than the muslin. We'll see, we'll see how I feel. And if you have the time and want a really authentic look, take a hand needle and some beige thread, something that's similar to the color of your shirt. But it looks like she has this little like wrap seam. Just got some strips that kind of hang down and they were not cut evenly. I did this one front and back and I did this one side to side. But you know what? I don't care. I still think it looks great. So I'm just going to make those into capris, wrap these around my calves and that's my scavenger capris. I'm going to go ahead and dip these in a bath of black. Again, not for polyester, polyester pants. But at least I think I'm, it might give them just a grayish tint and not turn them black, which is what I don't want. And then I'm going to put my shirt into a bleach bath to try to get them to look different colors. Because they look the same right now. Do I want to use this as the armbands? Or this? This would be a lot more comfy. And you know what? I bought it. I have it. Let's go for it. Is I would rather have thinner bandages and wrap them more than have fatter bandages. So I'm gonna cut this entire thing in half. three yards and a half, three and a half yards each for my arms. Boom, arm bandages. Now all I have to deal with is the flowy fabric thing, crisscrossy things. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut this in half, hot dog style. And I don't want any of these finished edges either, so I'm just going to cut them off. Remember, we're supposed to be very scavenger-y. Frayed ends, no hems, that sort of stuff.
All right, so these are my two crisscrossy thingies. So I do have to sew them together to make one very long strip of fabric. I'm gonna trim it as close as I can. So one side is gonna look good. It's gonna have a seam, but then one side's gonna be ugly. So I think what I want to do is I'm gonna run it through the sewing machine and top stitch it essentially down like this so this lays flat. All right, there we go. The top is top stitched. The bottom is stitched just to lay it down. Just lays a little bit more flush. Just because I'm a perfectionist and I have a little bit more time before I need to do my hair and makeup for tonight is I want to make this more wrinkly. So I'm just gonna kind of gather it up and iron it. Ta-da! Wrinkled fabric. All right, I'm gonna cut this purse apart because I don't need any of the straps. Could you be quiet? I'm just using some contact cement to glue the leather pieces together. Contact cement works pretty good to glue leather together, but it's not like a permanent bond. I have had it come off on me before. Adding a little hot glue just around the edges for security. So I'm just cutting a one and a half inch strip out of my leather for the main belt that goes around her waist. And if you don't have leather, like a lot of you probably won't, um, just pick up a belt or two belts at the thrift store that you can put together to make this. Or you can also pick up some vinyl or some fake leather from the fabric store and make one just like I am. This pretty much goes around my waist maybe an over an inch overlap and that's it. So for Halloween, I'm probably just gonna put some Velcro there. I cut two slits in the back, so that way I can take the back of the bottom belt and stick it in there, and my slits are not big enough. So because this is at our hip, the belt is kind of making a U shape, so we don't wanna stick these in straight. We kinda of want them going up at an angle, so this is gonna fall down on our hip. where that's gonna be. Now I have a heavy duty sewing machine so I can open the purse up and sew through all this material. You have a lighter sewing machine, you might wanna hand stitch this with a leather needle. Or you could glue it, but if you're gonna put stuff in the bag, I definitely recommend stitching over just gluing. So now that that's attached, couldn't get it all the way in, but just a little bit's all right with me. These are the edges of the belt where I attached the waist strap and the hip strap. 
I'm gonna take two little pieces of leather. Okay, so I'm just gonna take this off and stitch this loop together through my machine. Here we are. Then I can just slip this over that. And I think just a little bit of glue on the back will keep it into place. Perfect. Now it needs like a belt loop right here to keep that down. So I'm using a small but sharp needle. I don't think this is an actual leather needle. It's just one that I had. So I'm just gonna sew the loop together. I'm not gonna sew it to the belt so I can slide it around. I'm pushing the butt of the needle up against the table to push it through and using a pair of pliers. And I'm just gonna go around and keep going from the back to the front. Or le leather thread is pretty slippery. So I'm gonna go ahead and knot it a few times just to keep it together. Do -do -do -do. Then we have a belt loop. Awesome. I'm gonna put some pieces of Velcro here and on the back of that. So that can be Velcroed there. And then this strap goes around here for extra security. I don't have contacts in yet, but I've done my makeup, done my hair, and we're about to get dressed. Let's go ahead and figure this monstrosity out. Man, this sheet was like the perfect size. Okay, that's gonna work a lot better. I just stitched down the gathers up there so they don't fall off my shoulders. The barge and the hot glue is not holding the Velcro well enough. So I'm gonna stitch it on. I'm gonna have stitch lines, but you know what? It's gonna hold better, so. Dude, I'm stoked. I did this in one day. It's Halloween. I'm gonna go drive around my land speeder. Drive around in my land speeder on Halloween. I know. This is my focus. Focus. Focus! Do, 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 do. Oh wait, did I not turn it on?